Hello and welcome to this Unity 3D game development tutorial series. In this video, we're gonna in this video series, we're gonna create a classic arcade bricks game from complete ground up. So you don't need anything except Unity. We'll build any everything in the way, and you will learn every each and every concept in the way. So let's go and start it. So first of all, let's open up Unity. So open up Unity, create a new project. I'm gonna name my project um, Bricks Game. Let's name it Bricks Game. Bricks Game. And make sure to choose 2D because we are going to create a 2D project here. So create and Unity will open. Now remember, you don't uh, you don't need extensive knowledge of Unity for this because we'll build everything from ground up and everything will be very easy. So uh, don't just don't think that you'll be uh, also usually pretty complicated or something like that. We'll build it'll be easy actually. So Unity has been opened. So first of all, in this video, we will create our environment. So it'll, we will just create an environment first. So first of all, go to Game Objects, 3D Objects, Quad. So we will create a couple of quads. With the quads, we'll create the boundaries. Okay, we'll create the boundaries, and we'll also create the bricks with the quads. Now the first thing that you're gonna do is here we will see a mesh collider attached to the quad automatically so we're gonna go and delete the mesh collider because we are creating it in 2d and we wanna attach our box collider 2d to it so mesh collider from here uh, click the gear icon here and click remove component so now it doesn't have any collider attached to it so let's now click on the scale tool and scale it scale it enough so that it fits your screen uh, enough that it fits your screen now just go and place it upwards of your screen okay I place it upwards now let's just F2 press F2 or rename and rename it to top okay now let's go and duplicate it uh, in order to create uh, duplicate it just press ctrl D so press ctrl D and it will duplicate it rename it left and from rotation from the z-axis uh, rotated by 90 so 90 and it has been rotated so from the z-axis press 90 so press uh, place it in the left and just scale it properly if you want if you don't want you can also just leave it like that but I'll scale it a bit okay so I think this is uh, I think this is okay this is okay now just again duplicate it control D and name it right we're gonna use it as the right boundary so right now just place it here and everything's okay okay everything's okay now so now we have top left and right okay now uh, what you wanna do is add a box collider to each of these okay so we can we can do that at once so just go and select three of those I'm selecting all of those by pressing the control key after that like uh, from here click add component physics 2d box collider 2d so now a box collider has been attached to three of these. now they can collide and do everything <coughs> I'm sorry now it's time to create our paddle that will move here and will just bounce the ball so in order to create the paddle just go and go to the top and just press ctrl D and duplicate it and rename it paddle paddle and just place it down and now scale it with the scale tool just scale it and make it small enough I think this will be okay let's make it like this uh, I think it will be okay okay so it's our paddle now now uh, now let's create our ball so in order to create that game object 3d object sphere so this is this will be our ball now it has already a sphere collider attached to it we don't want this so just go and remove the sphere collider and from here add component physics 2d circle collider 2d and we also want to attach a box collider to this I mean a rigid body to this so 
add component physics 2d rigid body 2d okay now we have almost set up our environment okay so let's click and let's see what happens uh, the ball should fall why is it taking some time yes so the ball will fall and it will attach here it will just stop here because we have attached a rigid body component to it uh, I mean a collider to it so in this video we just set up the environment from the next video we'll start the actual scripting so let's go and check out the next video I hope you enjoyed thank you very much